I'm not happy today. Not happy. I'm just not happy. Like my weight isn't dropping. It's gonna be a quiet video. All right, so it's 9.30. We're going to have these pops of tuna. This is 100 calories to break my fast. You know, I've been fasting for about 20 hours. So have this. Then we're going to go to mom's and get some nuts. I said I wasn't going to talk this video, but I got to talk, you know. My weight isn't dropping. It's frustrating when it's like I'm doing everything right. What's almost been a you know a full week? Well, it's been five days. Today's day six. I've been doing everything right, and my weight isn't dropping. You now, to me, it's always a simple math problem. If my weight isn't dropping, my body fat isn't dropping. It's staying exactly the same. That just means I'm eating that maintenance. You know, I need to reduce how much I'm eating. But the reason I find it hard to believe that I'm eating that maintenance is that I'm exercising like a mother effer. You know, we're talking about jogging, walking, combined six miles a day. We're talking about going to the gym once or twice a day for between 30 minutes to 45 minutes total. It's just so dry. <laughs> so you know it's crazy. Like I don't I don't know what to say. You know, and I've cut out eggs, I've cut out nuts. But I feel like I'm suffering, you know. Now if it's only been like one or two days, I'd be like whatever. But I mean it's been five days. You know? So the question is Am I still suffering effects from fasting? You know, metabolism slow down. I noticed that. I won't lie to you guys. I get full very fast. And, I, and I'm not listening to my stomach. In my mind, it's like I need this amount of calories for all the work I'm about to do. So I pretty much stick to my calorie goal. I'm still staying true to my course. By the end of day seven... I don't know exactly what I want to do because, see, the thing I like about creating challenges is that it pushes me to achieve goals. So I'm still going to try my best to reach 30 pounds in 30 days. Now, to me, it was like, okay, it's going to take one, or one pound a day, you know? Give or take some days, I might lose more pounds or I might lose less pounds, but overall, one pound a day. But with the callus on my foot, I'm still running on it. Even though I'm still running on it with the callus on my foot, to me it's like a sign from God that <laughs> no matter what I do right now, it's not going to move because it's not supposed to move. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally limp home sometimes. Like, I limp like the, the, the last mile, uh, half mile. Because my body feels fine. It's just that my foot, you know, I have that callus there. I have to research that. Yeah, we got to get that shit removed, by the way. It's crazy, though, because that happened on day one. You know what I'm saying? And it's been no change. It's, it's exactly the same. I, I've been running on it, though, so I'm not complaining. I understand why, you know? That's what you 
say. Don't ever do that again. Yeah. Body these niggas, they lookin' the same. They copy my lingo, they bite in my chain. Championship, championship, right? Just gonna ever shit, big breaking lit to the look at the kid. After doing some research, what I need is pumice stone. Pumice stone. All these fucking weird names. But that's what I need. So I'm about to go and uh, look for it up in the CVS. I didn't find it at Whole Foods or Mom's. Those are grocery stores, though, so go figure. I think I found it. Let me check out that price. This one, too. I don't really need all that. Yeah, so I just got back from some grocery shopping. Let's go ahead and check out the haul. I'm feeling good. I feel like I could walk on my foot for a little bit. So I might take a walk. And um, this, this is supposed to be a kickback day this Sunday. So I'm going to eat one meal. High on protein, low on fat, so eat the turkey or chicken, and then I'll think about taking a walk. All right, so this is my grocery haul for today. Onion powder, adobo seasoning, unsalted avocado tuna, some more ground bison, but this is a different brand. Last time I ate this brand, I don't remember liking it, so I'm gonna try it again. Um, not today though, I already had my fat servings for today, olive oil and chicken. And the thing I like about chicken, man, see the fat, Three grams per serving, there's about four servings in here. So I'm only gonna get 12 grams of fat, but plenty of protein, almost 100 grams of protein. Um, if I eat two of these, you know, I'll be really Gucci gang as far as protein goes. But instead, I'm gonna go back to my turkey reserve, you know. If I eat one of these, I will get 26 grams, right? And it's only 0.5 grams of fat. So this will help me stay with my, within my macros. I'll cook both of these. This will be 200 grams of protein, very little fat, no carbs. That'll help me hit my macro goal for today as far as um, protein goes. I just don't know if I can really eat all of this in one sitting. And I only have one hour left for my eating window. So I'm going to cook both of them. And uh, I'll save whatever I don't eat, you know. Assessing damage. You know, this is my hauls for today. And again, not everything is for today. There's also some other things on there. But that's about 22 bucks. This is about 30.96. And oh yeah. Also in my grocery haul, I bought this. Just put it immediately in the freezer so it can be nice and good after I finish my working out for today. Now, I still have leftover from my last cooking session this, so I'm going to use this. I won't even need to add butter. I'm just going to cook on low heat so that it's not too dry. I'll start off on high heat, but then reduce it so it doesn't dry out and I don't have to add more fat. Huh. A good thing about not using veggies, you know, trying to do as zero carb as I can, is that I don't have to do any prep. I just put the meat in there, a little bit of seasoning, and I'm good to go. Get it cracking. Some adobo seasoning, 
You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna taste it first. It has a little bit of salt, so I'm not going to add too much salt. And now I'm going to add in some onion powder. And I'm going to add some garlic. A little bit of cumin. Okay, this is two packages. That's why I'm heavy on the seasoning. I'm going to add some sage. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper flakes. I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger, okay? A little bit of ginger. A little bit of garlic. And lastly, just a little bit of cumin. Since I have adobo, I don't really need too much. We're gonna let that cook up. I'm not gonna add any herbs today, other than the sage. So I'm pretty much just gonna let this thing cook. You know, I'm gonna cover it and just let it cook. And hopefully, that moisture is enough that it doesn't dry out. But I do kind of already see that it's drying out. So, we'll, we'll make adjustments. We'll keep monitoring it and we'll make adjustments. Let's check the progress. Yep, see, I didn't need to add any extra fat. We got plenty of moisture in here. That will ensure the food isn't dry. It comes out tasting good, you know? It will retain the flavor. Let's check the insides. Not too bad, right? I like mine to cook a little bit more. Right now it's moist though, so I'm just gonna lower the heat. Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat from like six and a half to about three. And I'll just let this cook for a little bit, you know? Put the cover on lock in moisture let it steam up a bit you know all right it's pretty much finished i'm gonna go ahead and open up one of the bigger pieces and take a look at inside of it that's a pretty good cook it's still pink but it's not bloody that pinkness is just tenderness that's the way I look at it. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna eat heavy, maybe both two pounds. Go for a long, nice, long walk, and then maybe take a nap or relax a bit and see if I have energy to go to the gym later tonight. I'm going to stick with the script, you know? I'm not going to let the numbers on the scale dictate my activity levels. I'm going to stick to my plan. This is what we're working with here. All right, this is what we're working with here. My turkey bowl. No. I always wonder if eating will always be a part of my life, and I think so. I just really enjoy food. I enjoy cooking. 
Maybe something simple like this. Simple but effective. Simple but tasty. Sometimes simply, simplicity is key. You know? Sometimes. This is nice. I wish that um, I had an avocado to put with this or boiled eggs. You know, I can't hold you, I can't lie. This is it. nice out here, you know, it's inspiring, it's inspiring, so, come out here, get a slow jog going, six miles, you know. I'm out here today, you know, just completed, uh -oh. Six mile walk, you know what I mean? A little bit of jogging in there. And I realized something last year when I lost a bunch of weight. I got water fasting in a short window. I was doing fasted cardio. Fasted strength training. Everything was in the fasted state. When I ate, I ate. But when I was in the fasted state, at the very end of my fasted window, that's when I got my cardio and strength training in. So that's that's one adjustment I'm gonna make going forward. Maybe starting Tuesday. I, I just wanna finish these first seven days first. Hey YouTube was good. So you know I just um I just came back from the store. I had to make another store run for food. Now, normally I stay within my macros, my calories, especially when my weight isn't dropping because the idea is that I'm eating at maintenance, so I need to even reduce what I eat. But also I'm thinking to break up the monotony of how I'm eating, just sticking to, you know, 200 protein, 100 fat, as low carbs as possible, usually under 20 grams. To break up that monotony, today I decided, I'm listening to my body. My body's really requesting food, fat. So I bought some more nuts and I went to Mission Barbecue. Take a look at the receipt here. Okay, Mission Barbecue, 20 bucks. Wegmans for them nuts, I paid $7.99. So sometimes, you know, you gotta do that. You know, I, I, I've been going six days. I haven't gotten any results. Um, starting, either starting tomorrow or starting Tuesday, my plan is to actually bring my protein down, bring my fat down, keep my carbs low, and continue my output as far as exercise goes and everything, and also start to begin fasted cardio. So that means when I get towards the end of my uh, my fasted window, I will go, and that's when I'll go do my fucking jogging and go do my strength training, you know what I'm saying? That's when I will do it. That will help me burn more fat. I did that last year, I just forgot. You know, that's the funniest thing is when, when you plateau or when your weight is stalling, you, you begin to think, you remember things. So fasted cardio was a big key. I'm, I'm gonna start that again. Yes, yes. So yeah, this is what I got from Mission Barbecue, a three meat sampler. That's um, pulled pork brisket and sausage, uh, jalapeno chorizo sausage. This is a cornbread. I don't know if I'm gonna eat that. I don't know. I might. Just to break up monotony, but not because I actually want it. It comes with it. Hmm. And then here goes the nuts. You know, the nuts is about 800 uh, total calories, 100 grams of fat. This is a bunch of fat and protein. This is a bunch of carbs. But today, I'm just like, fuck it, you know? I just came back from a run, and I'm feeling hungry. And I, and I plan on, I actually plan on hitting the gym tonight. So, you know, it's just all part of it. I feel like if I eat this, I could hit a one hour gym session, you know? But I always like to leave some in the tank because tomorrow's a new day. But tomorrow might be a rest day for me, you know? I don't believe in rest days, but every now and then I force myself to take it, especially when I have a callus on my foot. Today I bought the, um, the uh, uh, what is it called, Pumice Stone, whatever it's called. 
and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix my foot tonight. I'm gonna try my best. You know, I know it might take time to treat it, but I want to get rid of that callus ASAP, man. Because every time I'm out there running, I have to stop because of my foot. It's a bummer. So yeah, we about to eat it up. You know what I'm saying? I got some force with me, but I'm tempted to use my chopsticks. I just enjoy chopsticks. <laughs> All right, chopsticks acquired. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this out. You know, I haven't had Mission Barbecue in a while. It's always been good food, you know. Amazingly good food for fast food. No sauce needed. It's moist. You know, one of the reasons I eat on camera so I can see that the so that I can watch myself the way I eat to see if I improve. I want to see if it naturally improves as I begin to eat healthy food. Um and also you know, this isn't 100%. Even though all I show on this channel is weight loss, this is really like me showcasing my life to a certain extent. And I love food, so, you know, I always had an idea of, like, doing, like, I know it's very common on YouTube now, though, but, like, you know, food, travel vlogs, and stuff like that. I have tons of videos. Like, when I travel, I'll be recording. I just, um... I just haven't put together the concept yet. Like when I went to the UK, I wanted to get, I wanted to find the best fish and chips. So I went to like four or five places and I was trying the fish and chips to see which one I liked the most. The one I liked the most was in Manchester. I forgot the name of it. I want to say it's called Joe's Fish and Chip. No, nah, that's probably not it. I don't know. It was, it was, uh, I'm sorry, you know, I know you're not supposed to give perfect scores, but it was 10 out of 10. Like, nothing was left to be desired. Even their fries, everything was perfect. It goes good with the sauces. It goes good without the sauces. It was just great fish and chips. Manchester. But yeah, there you have it. I'm gonna finish this up. Finish this up. And then go hit the gym. Edit. Try to relax a bit, get some sleep. Tomorrow's work day. Tomorrow's day seven. Day six has been adventurous, you know. You know, my hike was only two hours, not even two hours, hour 30 minutes, but it felt like it was the whole day. Like, what did I do before that? I have no clue. That's how the weekend be going, you know? So yeah, you know, I let the food digest. It's been like two, three hours. Now it's gym time. I'm gonna go get a nice session in. You know, I'm funny when I go to the gym. I just go based on my energy level, my enthusiasm. It's pretty much one of those how's it going sort of things. And uh, I don't like crowded gyms. So I'm gonna go in there. I could be in there for five minutes. I can be in there for one hour. I could be in there for two hours, you know? I just never really know. Right now, I'm not sore, you know? I'm tight, I'm tight in a few places. You know, I can use, I can work out any muscle group I want. I can do the front or back. I can do push versus pull. I can do uh, small muscles, big muscles. You know, so many different ways you, you, you can go about it. You know, arms versus legs. I haven't done a leg workout, though, since I started running and biking. Because 
Those leg workouts kill me on the bike. On runs, I kind of recover, although I feel it, and I don't like feeling that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I see y'all in the gym, or will I? Should I? Crazy. I had to take all the weight off the bench. I was about to use the bench, and then I noticed this. I just looked up and noticed this, man. That's why it's important to talk to guy. This is how it's supposed to be. Pulley, simple pulley system. And this is cable assisted. Look at this one, this one's off the track. Imagine if I didn't notice that. That's crazy. You can't even fix it, you know? It takes two people. This place is falling apart. I might have to get a real gym membership. As much as I be in the gym, it's worth it, you know? All right, we're just gonna stick with free weights, you know? Honestly, I get a lot more progress for free weights anyway. So I'm gonna just go ahead and stick with free weights, you know, get a little bit of lift in so I'm just not feeling it anymore. Honestly, I'm already not feeling it after dealing with that bench press, you know. I loaded weight onto it, I, I lifted it and I said, yo, why is this thing so hard? It's because the pulley was resistant. I couldn't, I couldn't like, <laughs> it's so hard to describe it, but anyways. So many setbacks, so many issues I've been experiencing in these six days. I just don't get, is the devil fucking with me? Is it the devil? I'm a very positive person. So in my mind, it's like, it's not the devil. It's just that this is, maybe this is not what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? I'm, maybe I'm just supposed to be guiding the person I'm guiding. That person has lost 10 pounds now in these six days. You know me, I've gained weight. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, day six in the bag, you know, I ended it off in the gym. You know what's crazy is like, I feel good. I feel like I'm doing good. It's just that the scale says otherwise. And it, it's simply that, like even my clothes, they fit nicer. I feel good, you know, I check myself out again like I used to. Like, I, I'm I'm doing well. It's just that the scale is going in the wrong direction. I don't know what that's about. I don't know when that started. But all I can say is it's either because or, or a combination of I just came off a of fast. I'm eating a lot of protein, which I think my body is using as fat right now, using it for energy. Um... You know, I have metabolism slow down again because I just came off a of fast. It's just so many things, you know, that it could be. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of sleep. Like, last night was the first night where I got, like, more than six hours of sleep. Um, you know, I just, like, I'm eating at maintenance, and, and that's just unbelievable to me that 
it's not unbelievable that I'm eating that maintenance if I wasn't exercising, but with the amount of exercise that I'm doing, you know, two to three hours a day. Um, I won't say it's intense exercise, though, but, you know, it's what I can handle right now. Intensity levels will go up, you know. Instead of jogging, I'll begin running, mix, mixing the runs with the jogs. I did it one day so far. Um, I'll start running. I'll also start doing heavier weights in the gym. But, you know, I'm monitoring my heart rate right now. Right now, you know, coming off this fast, my heart's... Uh, my heartbeat are higher than they normally are when I lift weights and when I run. So I'm waiting for that to come down. Usually carbs help. Today was the first day I took in like carbs by way of nuts and cornbread. Go figure. But it was the first day I, I, I accepted that, yes, I'm about to possibly go out of ketosis, you know. I don't even know if I'm in ketosis. You know, I feel like if I was in ketosis, my weight would be dropping. But but my theory, again, is that I'm eating so much protein and my body isn't ready for that. You know, it's not ready to metabolize it into uh, actual muscle, you know. Right now, it's storing it as fat, you know. Is it even storing it as fat? I mean, my body fat percentage isn't changing either. I don't know. I don't know. But today was like a break for me. Today, I just ate, you know, I ate as I felt it from 930 to midnight. You know, I just keep I just kept eat, uh, eating and it wasn't planned. Uh, most of my food was ketogenic, you know, meat apart from um, the cornbread. And I mean, nuts are ketogenic, but I ate a lot of nuts, you know. Um, but it's like my body's requesting something like even right now, it's requesting something. And for some reason, my head keeps telling me omega three. You know, so eggs, avocado, or nuts. But I've, I've been feeding on that this week. I mean, how much will I feed on? I'm trying to lay off the fat, you know. I'm trying to lay off the fat. I want my body to use the stored fat. But, you know, that's just what's been on my mind, you know. My body is trolling me. Maybe it's a little bit of self-preservation it's doing. I don't really know what's going on. But plateaus happen, you know. Metabolism slowdowns happen. For six days. But then I remember a time when I water fasted and I was on day 10. And I mean, it's not that I didn't lose weight, but I lost like two pounds in 10 days water fasting. So, I mean, I, I've experienced worse than this. You know what I'm saying? So, one day at a time, uh, my plan is to eat at midnight and then not eat for the rest of the day and see how I feel the following day, you know? And uh, main point is that I want to get into a fastest state and then take on intensity, you know, not too high intensity, but start taking on intensity, fasted cardio, fastest strength training. I want to go for that. It always works. It, 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 it slipped my mind how much I did it last year, because last year when I was doing it, I didn't do it saying, oh, let me do fasted cardio. I did it because I noticed that I run much better on an empty stomach. I don't know what that's about, but when I got a load of food in me, it doesn't help, you know. I like I like running on an empty tank. <laughs> it's something about it. It's just like I noticed that I'll be okay, you know, as long as I didn't just come out of a extended water fast, I'll be okay. So I pooped today, you know. Um, after eating nuts, like two hours later, I was on the toilet. You know, I pooped twice today. So it's crazy, you know. I needed a little bit of fiber. I didn't want to admit it, but it makes sense. You know, you eat a high amount of protein, you're going to need some fiber. So some food starting to come out of me. <laughs> you know, hopefully I'll take off some pounds. But, it's, you know, if I wasn't doing this video series, I wouldn't get on the scale until maybe two, three days. You know, when I finish water fasting. But, you know, I'll get on the scale tomorrow, show it. It's going to be high. It's going to be like, whoa, what happened? What did you eat? But just know that I knew. Like, it was kind of a plan that to throw my system out of a, you know out of whack and to let it start, hopefully, operating properly, you know? So, you know, overall, you know, I'm eating healthy. I'm exercising daily. 
I'm putting my health first. So, you know, it's a win-win situation because eventually the weight will begin dropping. Or I'll just have to reduce my intake because perhaps I'm still overeating, right? Maintenance. It's important to know what, what you are at maintenance. I didn't really test my maintenance. I just used the keto calculator. But the keto calculator isn't for someone that just came out of a, a water fast. So I'm just waiting to see, okay, when when can my body handle what I'm doing, understand what I'm doing, and help me, aid me. Good news, though, is it's not like I'm eating nasty food. So it's not like I'm suffering and then the weight isn't dropping, you know. I'm enjoying life. I'm enjoying life, you know. I'm enjoying life. I can't complain, you know. God is good. And speaking of God, let me close this thing off with the prayer. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the almighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I'm, I'm grateful for, you know, this past week. It was a good week, a challenging week fun week, an eventful week, a lot of obstacles, you know, I've overcame and I'm still working through the pain, but, you know, breakthroughs happen because I serve you, you know, and you're miracle, miracle working guy. So, you know, I pray for you. I pray that you, you know, you stretch your hand on me and you just, you just heal me, you bless me, you help me recover. You know, I pray that you give strength, knowledge, wisdom, encouragement endurance wisdom you know love patience to everyone you know on a weight loss journey whether it's because they're obese morbidly obese just overweight or just want to lose a few pounds you know i pray that you walk with them you stand by them and you guide them just as you guided me please continue to guide me please continue to talk to me i know that whatever i'm going through right now is a learning experience and I kind of knew it when I began this. It's always a learning experience, these challenges. But I'll make it through because I know you got my back. Thank you, God. Thank you for everything. Please forgive me of all my sins, all the sins I committed knowingly and unknowingly, Lord. Please forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yeah. It's been fun. That's day six. It's a wrap. It's your boy, the American African. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video, day seven. I might skip a few days. Depends on how I'm feeling, you know. Mental health come first. Remember that.